Looking for recruiting news you can use? Welcome to Recruiting Headlines, powered by RecruitingHeadlines.com, a short news segment for recruiters who need to know. Today's episode is sponsored by Rejobify. Improve that part of your candidate experience everyone hates, the rejection email. Learn more at Rejobify.com. Hey everyone, I'm Chris Russell from uh, RecTech Media, and welcome to another edition of the headlines uh, for this week. So we've got a number of stories in the news this week I wanted to uh, tell you about. Um, first up, uh, Web Clip Drop has changed its name. So the popular sourcing tool, uh, data extraction tool, is now called Zap Info. Uh, they made the announcement over the weekend, and I wanted to read some of the uh, quotes from their uh, uh, their founders on this. Um, so web clip drop, if you don't know what it is, it's a basically a, a Chrome extension that allows you to easily pull off data off sites like LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, uh, and a number of other uh, online platforms. It then lets you export that data into a CSV file pretty easily. So for instance, one of the ways it's useful is for pulling off uh, uh, data from like a Facebook job posting, for instance. If you go to your uh, business page on Facebook if you posted a job and any candidates applied, you can actually pull them off of there into a CZ file and then upload it to your um, to your ETS, for example. So uh, Doug Berg, who is the uh, company founder, uh, made the announcement. Uh, he was saying that uh, people couldn't quite grasp the short three-worded moniker. Uh, I always thought it was an interesting name and something that was easily remembered. But people were saying, uh, calling it you know web, web click drop, web clack drop, Web clipboard, uh, and people were begging them to change the darn name, he says in a, in a blog post. So they made the move to Zap Info. The new URL is zapinfo.io. I did a webinar with them uh, a few months ago over at rectechlive.com, so you can go watch that if you want to about the what the tool does. But they, he says the new name is simpler, uh, as you remember, and uh, they want to be uh, easy to use. So uh, we hope that Zap Info easily. Uh, uh, helped across the web, moving hours of data entry, cleaning, updating, and research, making making recruiters and salespeople more productive using our automation tool. So it's, it's both a great tool for recruiters and also for salespeople, um, which I think is unique in the industry uh, overall. So um, again, they have a Chrome pl- plugin. Um, the uh, you'll see a new Z icon on yours. I have it on mine, and um, they also raised some funding, uh, a round of funding as well. $1.25 million from new investors such as Raleigh Ventures, Seven Peaks, and Great North Labs. Uh, the money will be used to further growth, it goes on to say. They made some new uh, personnel announcements as well. Uh, you can check out the blog post on Recruiting Headlines. Just click over to blog, and you'll see the announcement from WebKit Drop with quotes and links to all the uh, relevant uh, pages and uh, news sources. All right, so let's move on to All True Labs. So, a new employee video tool got funding this week. It was in TechCrunch. It's called All True. It's AllTrueLabs.com. It's A L T R U. Um, they want you to humanize your employer brand. It's a startup out of the TechStars NYC program, which has launched uh, uh, dozens of uh, startups uh, across the age across the years. Uh, and what they do is they power a page on your company career site that features employee-generated video that can then be shared across social media. Uh, it says, in an age where candidates are already talking about you across social media and Glassdoor, tools like this offer a way for employers to shape their own message uh, when it comes to their culture and brand. I did a quick screencast over on recruiting headlines on the blog. Uh, so you can go take a peek at uh, kind of what it looks like in a short two-minute screencast. You know, these, these tools, these video tools are neat um, we'll see how much traction it gets. Some of them feel more like features uh, than full products. Um, but uh, video is something you know most employers should be doing. They're still not doing a lot of it. Many of the big ones are big employers are getting the message as far as video goes, and you're seeing uh, companies like Skill Scout now um, really ramp up uh, their client base. Things like uh, Spark Hire and, and stuff. So uh, it's, uh, it'll be interesting to see how this one does. Again, uh, alltruelabs.com. Check it out on recruiting headlines. Uh, also, there was an article on LinkedIn this week that was really great. I wanted to kind of read some of that. And it was talking about four new job post stats that will help you attract candidates. 
Uh, when you're writing a job post, it says it's hard to know what works. One post might yield a flood of applicants, while a similar one only gets a trickle. And that's the deal, of course, with you know the, the industry you're recruiting in. Um, but there are some tips and templates out there for best practices. And this, this uh, article uh, that's on the LinkedIn blog it has some interesting stats here. So I want to read some of this to you. So, uh, and these are all, ba- all these stats are based on LinkedIn job postings. They analyzed how hundreds of millions of candidates across the U.S. and the U.K. viewed and applied to those jobs. And they distilled their findings into four simple uh, data-based, uh, data-backed tactics and takeaways. So, number one, shorter job posts get more applications. When I'm talking about shorter, I'm talking about one to 300 words those had a significantly higher than average apply rate per view, which is the number of job number of applications the job post got divided by the number of views. Keeping things concise, it says, helps candidates immediately get to the info they need to apply. And since more than 50% of job views on LinkedIn are on mobile devices, shorter job descriptions are literally better fit for modern candidates. So think about that. Uh, when you are uh, writing those job postings out there, less is more. Do more with less. And these uh, short posts got a, I think, an apply rate of 8.4 percent more than the average one overall. The second piece of data uh, they mentioned is men tend to apply more readily than women. Um, so if you are interested in more of a diverse application uh, base, um, listen to this. So men apply to jobs that they viewed. more frequently than women. In other words, women were less likely to apply to any given job post they saw, which means there may be more female talent out there than your applicant pool might suggest. A recent study found that job descriptions with masculine words made women less interested in the job, even though it did not make them feel less qualified. Uh, You can encourage more women to apply, it says, by avoiding these terms. And there's a bunch of, um, in the the, uh, article link, um, I don't have it in front of me, but uh, check out the article as well. Again, it's called um, Four New Job Post Stats That Will Help You Attract Candidates. If you do a search on recruiting headlines in the search box, uh, you should be able to pull it up. Uh, if not, go to the LinkedIn talent blog. Um, and the other stat was I wanted to mention candidates view and apply to jobs early in the week. So um, most often on Mondays, and well over half of all job views and applications take place over the first three days of the work week. So Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday is when job search happens the most. So I thought that was an interesting um, uh, piece of information. So what that means, I think, for employers is if you're going to post a job, don't post it on Thursday. Post it on uh, Monday morning or Sunday night um, so that it's fresher in the job listings. So that when you hit the, uh, the candidates hit the site on Monday, it's there and ready to uh, ready to be seen. And speaking of job postings, I did a quick uh, kind of a takedown or a deconstructing of a what I thought, what I thought was a well-written job description on the Recruiting Headlines blog. Um, so if you head over to there, uh, just click on the blog link, uh, you'll see um, see my article. It's called Why This is a Well-Written Job Description. And uh, I kind of break it down uh, for you, give you my take on it. And I think you'll learn something from it if you go check that out as well. It's from a... Uh, a posting by Jet.com for a, uh, a manager of social media and digital engagement. And they did a really good job with just kind of, I think, crafting it to speak to the job seeker overall and kind of get them excited about uh, the job itself. So I'll let you check it out for yourself. Again, recruitinghandlines.com. Uh, that's it for me this week. I will uh, see you next time here on the Rec Tech Recruiting Headlines podcast. Thanks for listening. That's it for now. Be sure to sign up for our daily newsletter that delivers all the day's top stories every afternoon direct to your inbox. Subscribe at RecruitingHeadlines.com.